Hey everybody, Alicia Rittenhouse here. Today I am going to show you how to use Wise Stamp to create a Wise signature for your Gmail account. As you know, uh, Gmail has been what I've been talking about lately and how that I think that it's great for your business and you should definitely be taking advantage of Google and all it has to offer for collaboration and social media. First, you will need to be on Firefox as your browser so that you can install Y Stamp plugin. And you can just go to Google and type that in Y Stamp plugin for Firefox. And it will be the first thing that will come up, and you will click it on, click on it, or you can go to YStamp.com. As you can see, basically you click install on Firefox. It's free, just click here, and it will walk you through. I'm on a Mac, so it's going to be a little bit more of a different process probably than it will be for you if you're on a Windows machine. So once you have installed it, it will also walk you through rebooting your browser, and it will be installed. So then you wanna come into your Gmail account, and you will see it up here and you can click on the arrow that is right next to it and click on edit Y stamp. And basically you just want to start to go to town on creating your signature. So I'm going to start with Alicia Rittenhouse. Maybe I can spell my name right. I'm going to go ahead and put my website address in. And now to make it um, a link, basically I can just highlight this text here. Actually, I'm going to remove this HTTP because we really don't need to display that, do we? Clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to highlight my text here. And I'm going to click the link button right here. And it's pretty simple. I'm just going to enter my web address. Now, if you want to be super fancy, you can actually direct them to your freebie or whatever you offer on your website, and you could link it up to right here. Um, mine is on my sign up, but I'm just going to link to my website just to show you right now. Now, if you want it to open up in a new window so that they don't lose their email account, which usually it does anyway, you can just click on open a new window, and basically you can hit insert. And I now have a link here to my website, simple enough. And if you want to get fancy and you want to format any of this text, you just highlight it. And you can see I have bold, italicize, underline. I can change my font here to a different font. So I can make it look exactly like I want to. I can create a larger size of font. I can change the color that it displays as if you have specific colors that you use on your website and you want to keep your branding the same, you can use the color code right here or you can just pick a color from the different gradients. You've got palette options. I'm just going to go ahead and leave mine black for now. And then we can um, also insert images. You can grab it from a URL or from your computer. So if you wanted to put your logo or something, to, if you have an image that goes along with your freebie, that would be another example that you would want to insert into your signature. If you want to use the copyright symbol or anything fancy that you want to add, you can do that by clicking on the star. You can get even fancier and add in a table. This allows for you to left align, center, and right align. And this allows for you to indent your paragraph. And then if you are really geeky and you know some HTML skills, you can format your own signature on an HTML um, program or you can code it yourself, paste it here, click update, and it'll update your signature. 
Now, no worries. If you're not technical, you can use some of the templates that it's provided for you here, and you would basically just fill in the information or you, like we've been doing, you can create your own. It's totally up to you and as customizable as you want to make your signature to stand out in every email that you send out. Now, if you want to add in your social icons, it's very simple. You just need to find the URL that goes with the appropriate um, forum or social network. For me, I know that this is for my business page. Oh. And my Twitter handle and I don't want that one and I'm not sure what my LinkedIn is so we have just not put it in there for now um, you can add different ones here so I have my about me page I can add a link into that um, if you guys are on any other of these social networks, you can easily add them in there. There's a Google Calendar option. Um, you just have to look through the list and see what you want to add into your signature, and it will add in that image for you. Oh, that's a paid feature, sorry. So I'm good with what I've got now. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Apply. And OK. Let's go take a look at my signature. And you can see that I now have my social sharing buttons that are in my signature. I have my name and I have my website. Now, there's a link to another blog post that I did on what you can include in your signature. So I recommend that you check that out. And you want to make your signature stand out. Again, if you're sending emails to people that may not know who you are, or if your assistant is sending emails on your behalf, you want to have this branded to match your business and your website so that people can easily find out information about you simply from your signature. And you can even build your email marketing list by adding in your freebie sign up just by having that it displayed in your signature because you never know when somebody might forward your email on and it have a signature in it and this will help build your audience and people are always curious to know what they do. So make it stand out, make it interesting, and make sure that it links to all of your areas. Now, as we've talked about before, About Me is a great place to send everybody to one centralized location. So that can distribute them to the different networks instead of having five different um, links right here. You can link directly to your About Me page. And I will also include a link to that article in the this blog post as well so that you can find it so this has been another week of from alicia rittenhouse and the scoop i hope you enjoyed it and take a snapshot of your um of your signature if you can and you know share it we would love to see what you've created so thanks again everyone and i look forward to seeing you next week